Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is me. I am clean but no makeup, hair not done, so please forgive me. I am just enjoying the last of my days off before going back to work. And today, so I am doing, this is day two of my 30 day challenge to myself to be consistent with posting YouTube videos. And right now I am meal prepping my meals for the week. I am going to cook some ground lean sirloin and then I'm going to, I call it a deconstructed egg roll, um, but it's like my spin on a deconstructed egg roll. So it's lean, let me back it up. I'm going to try doing low carb again. I'm going to do low carb this week. So I'm going to make my version of a deconstructed egg roll with lean ground sirloin, sauteed cabbage, um, sliced carrot, a little bit of green onion, and then I'm going to top it with a little bit of sriracha sauce for a little bit of heat. And I'm going to pre-package those, I'm going to freeze them, and I'm going to take them with me to work. So this is day two of my 30 day challenge, 30 days, that's like, it sounds so mind blowing. Uh, but I will get it done. And um, yeah, what else am I doing? I'm still planning for this move. So I have been just decluttering the house, getting rid of things, selling things, and putting things in order. So in between trips, I think I will have three days off to come home and pack everything. Then I go back and I work like back-to-back -back trips for six days in a row. Then I will come back and I have five days off. And in that time, I am going to drive from Tucson, Arizona to Celebration, Florida for my move. So stay posted. I believe that that move coincides with my 30 days. I don't know how I'm going to pull this off, but I am determined and I will. So come with me. Let's go and cook. So I am cooking my ground sirloin and then I'm going to chop my veggies. And so this is the final product. So this is my low carb deconstructed egg roll. So I am also um, cooking some hard boiled eggs. So I will do hard boiled eggs for breakfast and lunch. And then I will have this for dinner. And that will be my week of um, meals while I'm working to stay within my low carb diet. So, and I strive to get to the gym every single night that I'm on a layover. But saying and doing are two different things, but I am putting it out in the universe if that is, that will be my routine. Keep watching the next video to see whether that does come to fruition. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot believe it. It's happening. I am packing. I am moving to Florida. I never thought this would happen, but I'm here I am. Packing is such a mess. Packing, moving, such a mess, but I'm doing it. I can't believe it. Okay, so I finished cooking my meal prep food and that will be my work week of my low carb food. There you go, there's my uniform dress drying. This is the mess, the decluttering mess of just packing, going from a house to a condo. Um, I'm in the midst of doing that. Oh, and an update. So. On my last trip, I ended it in San Diego. That was my last layover, and I had tickets to go and see the San Diego Padres, and I did go to the game, but I just came down with, um, I guess, the flu or a cold. The day before, I was really nauseous, and I attributed that at the time to quickly drinking a liter of water in like an hour because I thought, oh my God, it's too much water for my body to process. Uh, I googled and I saw that that could happen. I don't know if a liter, but I know if you drink too much water, you can make yourself very, could be dangerous. Um, so I attributed feeling like that to that. But then the next day I felt nauseous again. And um, then when I landed in San Diego, I had like the most enormous headache. Then I went to the baseball game and I just was feeling really icky took some cold tabs, felt better, took a COVID test. It was not COVID. Um, luckily, that rolled into four days off. Um, I was gonna pick up a trip for extra hours, but 
Um, I was not gonna fly while feeling sick. So came home, rested up. I have not had any cold meds in the last 24 hours. Feeling like myself again, full of energy, getting stuff done. But it just occurred to me that tomorrow morning I have to fly out because I'm starting a trip at 8 p.m. out of Miami. I will leave Arizona around 5 a.m., get to Miami around 2.30, in time to cat report for my 8 o'clock p.m. sign-in and tomorrow night I will be laying over in St. Louis so yeah I do so anyways it just occurred to me I need to pack soon also amidst get this mess cleaned up oh sorry along with getting this mess cleaned up but I need to get stuff in the washer so I'm going to do some washing and carry on with my day but this is day two of my 30 day in a row vlog Yes, I have a mess. So I took these out of my bag. These were mini bagels um, because I'm doing low carb, but these mini plain bagels were sort of my salvation because I couldn't eat anything else. So these are the two bags that I take for every trip. Um, I have this carry-on here and then this rolling carry-on. So everything has to fit in these two bags. So now I'm going to get my stuff in the washing machine. But this stuff here, you see, I, these are just lots of games. And I'm trying to decide, do I keep these board games? Do I get rid of them? Also some books. Um, so yeah, sorting through that. Um, I am not going to need an ironing board anymore because there's an ironing board in the new place. So I'm going to get the washer going and do some laundry. Small load, light wash. See how this shelf is so much taller than I? Look at the laundry, I shall return in just a moment. Stop. Penny hose. This brand of penny hose, they are very durable. I think they're the legs brand, but I can get usually like five uses. More than five uses because I throw them in the washer. As long as you knot them on the top and the bottom, throw them into wash and dry, they're fine. So washing that for my next week, as well as um, gym pants, because I am going to hit the gym. So I'm eating healthy, hitting the gym, hitting that reset button, and getting all healthy again because I got sick and now I'm over it, and I just want to get healthy now. Let's get to a good place. I'm optimistic. I'm excited. You know, packing my things and going through stuff. This water is probably super loud. I was inspired even to start writing songs again. So I kind of came up with these lyrics and I'm going through it. And um, I just hope that now that I won't be, let me turn this off. Okay, I've been excited. I've been inspired to write music again. I want to write some songs to play along with a guitar. So um, hopefully now that I will be living in Florida and I won't be contributing so much time to commuting, I can get back to playing guitar and writing music. So that makes me super excited. I am just feeling energized. I'm feeling happy. I feel like positive things are going to come my way. I just know it. I'm putting that out into the universe because you know what? If you put it out there and if you shift your mindset and you believe that, you're, you naturally start seeing the opportunities. Um, if you are in a dark place, you have a negative mindset, you oftentimes miss the positive things that are in front of you. So naturally, that's my thought process. So I am getting back to that. I feel, like I said, I feel good. So, all right, this is, yeah, this is my daily vlog. I'm trying to get into a daily habit. I don't know if that will be forever, but it is for 30 days to kick my behind into gear with some consistency here so apologies for being inconsistent i am turning a new leaf putting it out in the universe saying it on here to hold myself accountable but thank you for bearing with me we'll get through it together or you'll just watch me crash and burn just kidding you won't okay something else about me i 
really love holidays and I always decorate for holidays. I have throws, I have decorative pillows, and I decorate the entire outside. Like I have three Christmas trees at one point I used to put up in the house, downstairs, upstairs, bedroom. Um, and I'm gonna eliminate those. I'm only taking with me a small Christmas tree. But my sister loves Halloween as much as I do, so I am going to be gifting her my most of my Halloween decorations. So yeah, I'm gonna take those over to Stephanie this evening, but this is one of the Halloween pillows, one of the Halloween throw pillows. Another one of the Halloween throw pillows. Um, Easter throw pillows, I have so many. This has a bunny and they're pretty. I'm gonna miss them, but you know what? I am trying to eliminate clutter and I will just, it'll be refresh, renewed, positive energy, positive vibes, all new stuff coming my way. Little by little, you know, I don't want a house full of things anymore. I just want the things to be things that I actually use. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. At least it makes sense to me at the moment. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. Follow my voice, princess. Come on, come on. Good girl, come on, princess. Okay, so I did a lot of things inside the house, packing, selling things, decluttering, throwing things away, and now I'm walking the dog. And it makes me a little bit sad that this is one of the last times that she's gonna be walking in this neighborhood, but she's gonna have new things to explore too. And I'm not gonna say onto bigger and better things because there are positive things about everything. They're beautiful, things that are great about here in Tucson. There's going to be wonderful things about um, celebration. And I believe it's all in the way that you look at things, you know, that should be everyone's philosophy. You try and find the positive in everything because that's what gets us through life. And um, I'm just choosing to embrace the positive and move forward. I spend too much time being sad about it. This move is happening. I'm going and you know what? I can always come back right so yeah um, but yeah that's what that's what I've been up to this afternoon I need to I've already cooked my food I just need to go inside and portion and pack it uh, I've already washed my laundry for my next three-day work trip and it's in the dryer and then I'll just throw it in the suitcase and uh, catch that 5 a.m. flight tomorrow I'll tell you about my dog so this dog is very old I think she's like 14 years old and she's blind so I'm training her how to walk she has to follow my voice princess and she's getting used to the way things feel under her feet Come on. I've been reading about how to help a blind dog and um, yeah so inside the house things like uh, area rugs are important Keeping furniture in the same places is important because that's how they remember to navigate around the house. I will say that this blind little dog knows how to get up on, uh, up the stairs all by herself. She knows how to find me. Um, but yeah, right now we're getting used to walking outside because she used to be very frightened. Um, like the wind and the sun and just certain things would spook her. Certain sounds. Um, so I would carry her on walks and let her walk a little bit. But now she's getting used to her little routine. And um, I did take her with me to Florida and, um, you know, she enjoyed walking in the grass. So, yeah, it's a little bit about my little dog princess here, this little rescue that I've had for a long time. Okay, so I finished my meal prepping. I am, here are the hard boiled eggs. I've already cooked and peeled them. So this will be uh, one for breakfast and lunch for the next four days. This will be my dinner. This is my deconstructed egg roll. And here I have cucumbers to snack on and a bottle of tahini. This is like salt and chili and other seasonings. I'm going to put that on the cucumbers and that will be a nice little snack. And um, I should be good to go here. And string cheese. I'll pack string cheese in addition to this. 
but this is what uh, my meal prep looks like for my three-day work trip that starts tomorrow. Heading over to drop off the Halloween decorations of my sister. So I went and dropped off the Halloween decorations with my sister, visited with her for just a little bit, and then I wanted to get something to eat for dinner um, that is sort of like um, original to Tucson or Arizona. And I think that this place is, it's called ATL Wings. You know what, actually I don't know it's exclusive to Arizona. I'll have to look that up. But I got ATL wings and these are the boneless ATL spice wings. They are really delicious. Um, I don't know if I'll be back on to end this YouTube video um, because it is seven o'clock. I need to wrap up a few things that I'm doing at the house and I need to fold my laundry and get my suitcase packed um, to head back to work tomorrow. But this is day two of um, posting videos, 30 consecutive days to get out of my funk and get back into this. And so it'll be a mixture of what I'm doing on a daily basis if I'm not flying. And it'll also be my trips, you know, as I am flying. I'm rolling into a three day trip. I'm going to be in St. Louis the first night. Then I'm going to be in San Francisco the next night. And then on the third day, I fly back to Miami, but probably fly some other places before then. In the meantime, I'm just eating dinner and I'm watching the Inter Miami MLS soccer team play Houston. And that's it. That's going to be the end of my night. So if you watch this video, thank you so much for watching. If you watch any portion of it, thank you. If you watched it, all of it in its entirety, thank you very much. I really appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And to see more of my flight attendant videos or my daily vlog videos, then please hit the subscribe button. Until next time. Bye, guys.